this is a beautiful story of animals that are heroes for the rest of the animal kingdom. Wombats hailed as heroes for digging water holes enjoyed by thirsty animals during the drought. Wombats are now being called water diviners due to their proven ability to provide water to their thirsty neighbors. Elias Marat Mindarlis reports, while viral stories about wombats herding other animals to safety amid Australia's unprecedented bushfire crisis have proven to be false, the marsupials are being celebrated as heroes for their ability to supply water to parched native fauna, the animals, that is, who have struggled to survive this prolonged drought. The wombats are now being called water diviners by one biologist due to their proven ability to provide water to thirsty neighbors, as shown by their actions on a farm in Hunter Valley in the state of New South Wales, according to ABC reports. The news comes as wombats continue to feel the brutal impact of ongoing bushfires, drought, mange, and automobile traffic, earning new protections against hunting for the Aussie icon, the wombat. Cattle rancher Ted Finney lives roughly 19 miles southwest of the small rural town of Meriwa, which lies in a particularly drought-ravaged part of Hunter Valley that has barely seen a drop of rain over the past three years. However, wombats on the property have been hard at work digging for water and providing a life-saving service for other animals in the area. And look at what happened here. Their violent labor has been clear as the wombat's burrows have expanded into an all-out water hole. And she explained, it's best described as being a crater, being about 65 feet in diameter, with the rim of the crater going down maybe 13 feet into the ground. This is like a small lake to me. Anyway, she says, and as the crater it has dried out due to the drought, the wombats have buried to get closer to the water, so they've gone underground a little bit. The wombat soak has been enjoyed by other native animals, including wallabies, kangaroos, and wallaroos. But as conditions grow more arid thanks to the drought, other animals have used this water hole as a precious source of life. The camera trap set by Hunter Region Land Care Network has shown the diverse species of creatures drinking from this soak, including birds, goannas, echidna, echidnas, possums, and even emus. Finney, a retired uh, veterinarian at Taronga Zoo, credits the, hero the heroic wombat with saving the lives of rare native animals. He explained, they're the ones keeping the hole open and accessible. I think it's really quite surprising how intelligent wombats are in the matter of survival. They are great survivors, especially given the fact that they're able to source this water supply fairly deep down. Dr. Julie Old, biology professor of Western Sydney University, was not aware of any similar cases of wombats digging for water, but she could not deny what had happened on Finney's farm. The associate professor said that it was yet another testament to the evolutionary talents of the beloved wombat. And she explains it's almost like the wombats are water diviners. They're finding the water and digging the holes to get the water, and the other animals are taking advantage of it. We often call wombats ecological engineers because they're digging burrows and they make habit habitat for other animals. In this case, the wombat allowed uh, uh, the, uh, the wombat wallow on Ted's place is being created by this ecological engineer, the wombat. The biologist is unsure of whether the water hole was intentionally or simply a happy accident. Uh, the old said, they tend to build burials on the side of the creeks and near tree roots to help hold the burrows together. So where this spot is, not near a creek, would have been very unusual for the wombat to dig a burrow. We don't know why it started, but it's become quite deep. This is by Elias Marat, Mind Unleashed, and its creative comments. And there's a little embedded video of little weird animals, and the wombat is a marsupial, like the kangaroo. Australia has such beautiful little animals, don't you think? This is a fantastic animal survival story. Wonderful. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial 
subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.